Pops, one of the best resources you and Justin on our team put together, I think, is your cheat sheet. When the dealer says this, you say that. Join yaa.com slash cheat. It'll take you right there. Yeah, go Well, ahead. we have to give credit to everybody involved. Miss Kimberly but Klein. Miss Kimberly Klein, the F&I goddess herself. So we've got here, Dad, a cheat sheet, 100% free. It's just on the internet. Yes. Salesperson says this, you say that. Finance manager says this, you say that. Thank you, Kimberly, for doing the finance manager ones. I thought we'd go through a few of them. And absolutely. You can, you can talk us through it. Yeah, absolutely. I'll be the salesperson. you be the customer? Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah, Pops. Yeah. What do you want your monthly payment to be? You know, I'm not really concerned with the monthly monthly payment. I, I'm only focused on the total at the door price. Okay. So you're paying with cash. Uh, I, I haven't determined exactly how I'm paying for it. I'm I'm only concerned with the total at the door price. Okay. But you must have a monthly budget in mind. Um, I have a total at the door price in mind. So uh, I would only like to discuss that at the present time. Let's press pause here, Dad. You wrote these, obviously. Yes. This is what you're trained to do as a salesperson, right? Of course. You know, as a salesperson, uh, when when a salesperson would come to me and say, well, I, I, I have no idea what they want their monthly payment to be. Um, you know, I used to say to the salesperson, what do you mean you don't know? <laughs> okay. Everybody's got a budget. Okay. Uh, you know, so here's how I would like you to phrase it to your customer. Everybody's got a budget. I, I, I mean, I just, I just really, you know, everybody's got a budget. You know, you, me, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, <laughs> we all have budgets. The difference is, difference is, is that Bill Gates and Warren Buffett's their budgets are a lot bigger <laughs> than ours. But you know, really, you have to have some ideas as to what it is that you can comfortably afford on a monthly basis. And on the flip side, then you're coaching us as as customers. Say, Redirect hey, that it, every time. Yeah, it doesn't matter what, what my monthly budget might be. I have an out-the-door budget in mind. And if you're wondering, if you're sitting here and you're like, what is out-the-door? What is out? Just Google search mm -hmm. out-the-door space YAA. Everything will pop up. It'll make sense. We promise. It's the yeah. total price. That and, and, I'll, and I'll help. Yeah. And I'll help you with out-the-door is the total price of the vehicle after discounts with sales tax, title, licensing, dealer fees, all fees, the bottom line price, what you would have to stroke a check for if, well, People actually walked around with a check. All right, so you kept going here, Pops. Yeah. What are, I'm the salesperson. Yeah. What are you going to do with that car you drove here? Will you be trading it? You know, I really haven't decided yet. We can discuss that as a possibility after we agree to, well, an out-the-door price. Yeah, and you just yeah. continue on here. Yes. Keep asking for the trade as the customer. You yes. just keep pushing back. They're two separate transactions, right? They are. And 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 that doesn't mean that after you've, you've agreed upon an out-the-door price, that the transaction of coming up with a value for your trade doesn't then get combined into the first transaction. Yeah. So your out the door price will then be married up with a trade allowance yes. and a trade uh, uh, trade value tra that you can uh, no, agree to. Um, trade payoff. That was yes. the word I was looking yes. for. So if you owe money on your vehicle, that'll all yeah. get put into one worksheet so you can yes. see the ultimate amount that'll be financed. Exactly. That being said, they're two separate transactions. Yes. The car you're buying, the car you're selling. Yes. Will you be putting any cash down? Uh, well, um, you know, I'll be more than happy to discuss all of that with the finance manager. If, if you provide me with a credit application, I'll even be more than happy to fill that out for the finance manager. Why does the salesperson want to know if you're putting cash down? Does it all come back to that monthly payment conversation? Well, here's the deal. Cash is king. And what I mean by that is cash typically equals profit. So the more money you can get as a cat as a cash down payment from the customer, um, the easier it is to fit it into their monthly payment, gotcha. allowing you to make a greater profit. So, so yeah, that's it does come all, back to monthly. Yeah, yeah. So that's why they're always pushing you for you know how much cash are you planning on putting down and the trade as well. Yes, of course. All right, now we're in the finance office. You ready, pops? Yeah. I assume that you have given some thought to your monthly payment and loan term that you'll be comfortable with, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I, I have indeed. And I've also secured a pre-approval from my credit union as a possibility for my loan. This one's so subtle. Yeah. But the way that you did this, you yeah. and Kimberly did this is so good. Yeah. Because the F&I manager is looking for also the monthly budget to figure out what yeah. they can fit you in. And you're just redirecting immediately to, oh, I actually came in here with a pre-approval for the term that I'm interested in. Yeah. Immediately alarm bells going off. Oh, this is someone who knows what they're doing. Uh, hopefully. Would you consider financing through us? Well, I, I would, assuming that you can beat the pre-approved rate that I have. Here's the pre-approval term sheet from my credit union with all the particulars for you. So if you beat the rate, so if I beat the rate, you'll finance with us, correct? Well, yes, if you beat the rate by at least a quarter of a percentage point. Uh, and, and also, I promise to listen... Uh, at least listen to any finance uh, and protection packages that are available. All right, last one here, Pops. Yeah. 
So you are open to some of our programs. Possibly if we can agree on a reasonable selling price on any of the items that I think have value. Oh, and, and if I do buy any products, I would at least expect you to give me the buy rate from the bank on my loan. Once again, though, you will need to beat my credit union rate by at least a quarter of a percent to even have me consider it. Wow. Thinking about getting auto insurance? Compare quotes from all the major carriers in one place. Join YAA.com slash insurance. It's quick, easy, and no spam. So let's break this one down because yeah. this is kind of like everything coming together here. You're showing an interest in the extended warranty, the gap coverage, the tire and wheel product. I'm showing it, uh, a willingness to listen. And you're doing that in exchange for getting the buy rate on the interest rate from the dealership for the loan that they could potentially get you. Yes. And no matter what, it's so interesting how you phrase this, you and Kimberly phrase this. Yeah. And no matter what, I'm at least walking out of here with a quarter of a point better than my credit union. You've exactly. set the table. I'm interested yes. in anything you have to offer me, but only if you give me buy rate. Yes. And if you don't do anything, well, you've got to at least give me a quarter of a point below my, yes. buy, my, my, and, you've and, taken control. Yeah. And, and if you want, say, say a half a point, say, say, you know, 50 basis points, whatever, it, whatever yeah. makes you comfortable. That's what you say. And, and, you know, if they have an, an interest, they'll, they'll try their best to, uh, accommodate you. One more for you, Pops, because yes. it always happens in the yes. FNI office. The finance manager shares the menu with additional products to you. What do you say? Well, uh, but first, before we go over the products, benef the product benefits, there is where is my base payment amount finance term and interest rate? So when the when the finance manager pulls out the menu or yes. some of them are digital, like on a, a computer screen in the desk, it's just going to show you all these different payment options that you can have. And you you want to know what your base payment is. Without anything. And you want to you want to be clear as to what the term is and what the interest rate is. And those are all your truth and lending information, pieces of information yes, right there. How much am I financing? What's the term? How long? Yes. Excuse me, the, the interest rate. Th that stuff can get is easily hidden or overlooked. Yeah. Even though it's plain as day on the contract. All right. So this entire cheat sheet, which yes. continues to go on yes. and on and on. Yes. Man, I'm so proud that, that we've produced this. 100 percent free. Join YAA.com no slash charge? cheat. No charge. Definitely go take a peek at that, Dad. And and maybe we'll continue to update this like into next year as things come up. It's just a page. It's going to live. It's going to exist. These are the things. When the dealer says this. This is what you say in return. I was, when the dealer says this. You say that. There it is. This and that. You know, we should just title this instead of the car buying cheat sheet. We should just title this. This and that. Yeah, I think people are searching more for car <laughs> buying cheat sheet. <laughs> Thank you, Pops. Thank you, Hanson. <laughs> 